So in this video, we have the first two basic hand stitches that we're gonna learn. So first we'll do the running stitch, which we have one row here and one row here. And then we're gonna learn the back stitch, which is what I have in these three rows up top. So to set this up, you can see that I have created a bunch of dots. So those are not stitches, they're dots. And to do that, I've taken a measuring tape or a ruler, placed it down in a nice straight line. And then in this particular line, I marked every quarter of an inch. I'm using a pencil so that you can see it really well in this video, um, but be careful with what you use. You probably wanna use chalk um, or something that you can take out of the fabric that's not gonna leave a lasting mark on there. And I just simply went like this and marked every quarter of an inch. The actual space that you mark, whether it be a quarter of an inch, eighth of an inch, that's all up to you, the size of the stitch that you wanna do. Um, this quarter of an inch mark is a pretty good starting point for practice. And then that's gonna allow us to have nicely evenly spaced stitches. After lots and lots of practice, you'll be able to do that without the marks, but that takes quite a bit of practice. Um, so if we wanna have nice, pretty even stitches, I definitely recommend marking it. So first, we wanna have our nice embroidery floss threaded on. So like I mentioned before, here I have three pieces instead of the full six. Thread it on my needle with that tail and then I have it knotted at the end. I'm gonna always start on the back side of the fabric. So I'm gonna start by looking for this hole right here. And pull through. And that's gonna get me started. Now the running stitch simply goes in and out. Very, very basic. So we're gonna go to the next dot, go through the fabric, and then the next dot, we're gonna come out. Then the next dot, we're gonna go through. The next dot, we're gonna come out. The big advantage to this stitch is the speed. So as you can see, I can do a number of stitches all at one time. So now I have that on there, as you can see, and I can pull that through and finish all those stitches at once. But before I do, I wanna show you the back side and just show you what that looks like. The running stitch should look the same on the front and on the back. So we'll go ahead and pull that through. And then flatten it out so that I don't create any kind of puckering and it's beautiful. Now this specifically is what we call an even running stitch. What I have below it is an uneven running stitch. And so what I did was I took a larger stitch on the back side, so the spaces that you don't see is a larger stitch, and then just a cute little tiny stitch on the top. So an uneven running stitch will look slightly different on the front and the back depending on the size of the stitch you're taking. But we still see that stitch space, stitch space on both sides. So on the back side, we have a larger stitch and a smaller space. So it's the opposite of what we see on the front. So all three of these lines that we see here are the running stitch, that basic running stitch, which can be used for just about anything you can imagine. Um, so to do this, what I did was I used, let's go start off with going in, and then I came up on either side of the dot. So my needle's coming out just before the dot, 
and then I'm going in just after the dot. And then I'm going to come out just before the dot and go back in just after the dot. And I can do a few stitches in a row. And there we go, you see that? So now I have a much smaller stitch than I have the space on this side. And then on my back side, I have a much larger stitch than I have for a space. So that's an uneven running stitch, just simply meaning that you have a different size stitch on one side than the other. Pull that through. Make sure that everything's laying nice and flat. There was a little bit of a curl up right there, so I'm gonna fix that. There we go, that's better. Nice and smooth. And there we go. So that would be the running stitch, which is a nice, easy stitch if you need to do a large area. Say I wanted to do the border around something, I'd probably wanna use the running stitch because I could do it really quick. If I was outlining something, or if it was something that I wouldn't see later, maybe it gets covered up by something. Use the running stitch because it's nice and quick. Then to finish, always want to go through the back side and simply just tie yourself a knot. So a little knot here. And then I'm always going to want to get it as close as I can. So I'm going to hold my thumb right there and get it close and then take my needle and drag it along my needle like that. And that's gonna get it up nice and close. And there we go. Then the next stitch we're gonna do is the back stitch. 